Hurry! <laughs> Hello there. Welcome back to the Inspire Composites YouTube channel. And this video is part three, how to split a large 3D object in order to machine it on a smaller CNC machine. If you haven't watched part one and part two, go ahead and watch those first. Otherwise, you might not get this one. In this video, instead of using regular surface tools, I'm going to use Boolean tools. And Boolean tools are used specifically for solid objects. And it's pretty much the same thing, except when you're splitting a solid object, it splits in two solid objects instead of making it two surfaces. And then you would have to patch one side to close it up and then patch the other to close it up so that both of them can be a solid object. We're just going to use Boolean tools and it, it will split it and make it two objects automatically. So what you see here is a, a plug modeled of a rear clamshell. And we want to divide and layer these in sections that we can machine on a three axis machine. Let's go ahead. We're using Boolean tools. And this is the toolbar right here. Let's say that our three axis machine has a 48 inch by 60 inch cutting envelope. Okay, let's go with a five inch Z axis. So those are our parameters. And right now, as it is, it's about 66 inches in length. 58 and a half inches in width and about 18 and a half inches in height. There's no way we're cutting that on the three axis, but we're going to use our techniques because we're going to make do with what we have and we're going to split these and machine individual sections that once we are done with, we can glue all together to make one single buck. The first thing we want to do is split off this rear face here. And since our layer height is going to be five inches, we're going to split it off at five inches. Actually, we're going to make it short, just five inches to leave a little cushion on the box stock. You know what I mean? So if we extrude that line, through it, we will have our first piece that we can cut, right? So let's use our Boolean tools. We're gonna use this tool called Boolean Split. We're gonna select our solid, and then we're gonna collect our cutting surfaces, and bam. Two objects split, two solids split. You see how it automatically closed that surface? That's what Boolean tools do. They keep things in solid objects. As long as you're starting with a solid object, you're going to get that. Okay. And now let's split the sides off. So we're going to go draw a line from the very tip and then we're going to go 4.95 inches again because our cutting height is 5 inches and we just want to leave a little bit of slack for our box stock. Extrude that line. Let's go both sides and then we're going to do the exact same thing. You know what we can do? We can take this line as well and we can mirror it on the other side so we can split. We're gonna go from the mid. We can split both of them off. So click that. Select our surfaces and we should be good. That is one side. And that is the other. So what's left is really this top surface area that we have to get. Okay, let's say we want to go down eight inches from the top, right? So 
So eight inches, we can say that's two layers and each layer will, will be four inches. We'll actually make it a little bit less than four inches. 3.95. And our first layer is going to cut through that. Extrude curve. And that's our first layer, 3.95 extrude. Use our boolean tool to split. And we have split down everything that we need to make this rear clam plug. We're not done yet though, because guess what? So obviously this piece is going to be too big so we'll have to divide that piece up so let's say our cutting envelope is forty eight by sixty inches yeah we'll go with sixty inches wow that one just that that's just this it's not our day today so we're gonna have to split that down the middle and then this one this one will work um, would this one work just barely just barely will work and then our two sides will fit our cutting envelope as well. So the only piece that we need to divide is this piece. And we're gonna use a technique that uh, I showed you in part two, which is a jigsaw pattern. And we're just gonna cut it right down in the middle. So we add these corners, we're gonna go with 0.5. Okay, now we're just going to put it somewhere in the middle. Extrude that. And then we're going to use that surface that we made to split the solid object. Bam, two objects. We're good to go. Let's just say that we machined all of these pieces out. And we have all of our pieces just laying here, right? Let's put it back together. Let's put this back together. We'll glue that. Bam. We'll put this back over here. We'll glue that. Spray on some styrofoam adhesive. Bam. Now that's the top surface of the clamshell. And then we're going to flip this back up. We'll put that one last. Flip these pieces back up. Things are coming together. Move that back over here. Glue that on there. Use some epoxy paste and some three inch screws as skewers. Put that on there. We ain't messing around. Glued. Glued. Then the last piece. Goes right at the end. And we had what? One, two, three, four, five, six pieces that we machined. Yikes. And there it is. Okay, so we have our clamshell reconstructed. 
And as you have it in the 3D model, you can take measurements from the inside of this plug and build a frame that will hold all four sides of this plug. So these are the techniques that are used to be able to divide and section and layer larger plugs, larger 3D objects in order to machine them on smaller CNC machines. And if you're using a 3D printer, you can do the same thing. Large objects, just split, divide, section them, and make sure that you're doing it in a way that you're uh, using Boolean tools so that your parts that you section off stay solid objects, and that's crucial for 3D printing. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys find some use from it, and uh, see you later.